at the moment. So the, the, you're doing quite well. The one thing I would, ah, uh -huh. straight, yes, <laughs> tendency to do that, and that's because what's happening is that you're getting clear up to the top too soon. Too soon. So the body needs to move a little more slowly, or the arm needs to move a little more quickly, one or the other. Okay. And it could be either way. You know, so that. Um, well, and and okay. as you go up and out, you're back on your heel. Yep. And oh no, you're on your toe. You're on your toe as you go back. Uh, here, here, as you go up. And then as you go down, you're back on the okay. heel. Okay, yep. Yeah. And then up. So here you're drawing the outside of the sphere. Now you're just drawing the S curve. It's not as big as the sphere. It's in the middle. Now you're on the outside. Oh, so see, that's what I'm talking about. So watch me for a moment. <coughs> Here you're on the outside. What you're doing is you're going back to the outside and through with the S curve. So your motions here are always in the same place, but they're not. If you look at the Tai Chi 2 behind you, <laughs> you will see that the, the S curve does not is not as wide as the full circle. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, go ahead. So this is on the outside. This is half of half of the circle in the middle. Now it's on the outside. Ah. And now it's on the outside. Okay. And now it's on the outside. But now it's just going through the middle. So <clears throat> there is a sense that you're a hundred percent on that foot. And then you're a hundred percent on that foot. And then you're a hundred percent on that foot. And then you're only fifty percent on that foot and fifty percent on that foot. And then a hundred percent on that foot. I, I, <laughs> I'm just so intent on my body moving my arm. Uh -huh. that I go all the way, you know, yeah. I go all that, the way. Well, that's really good. Yeah, but it's not <laughs> That's right. not a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, you can uh, reapportion <laughs> your movement um, so that you, because you're really trying to replicate that. Okay, so I'm now so my body just doesn't move. Okay. Well, it doesn't move as much. So it goes 50 percent. <laughs> can you, if you start in the middle, yeah. your body can go 50 percent onto that foot, 100 percent onto that foot, 50 percent middle weight, 50 percent, 100 percent. 50% middle weight. So that's what you're playing with. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I, um, when I'm going out, mm -hmm. I'm going, my arm is going out. Yep. And it's it's twisting yeah and I get to the top so make sure you're in the middle at the top top is in the center 
Yeah. Uh, then you're going to go into the S curve, which is smaller. Turn. And now you're going to the outside. Okay. Now, as top. I'm up here. But here's I, the top. Yeah. Not as, over as there. I'm going to the top. Yeah. Am I coming forward on my feet or am I going back on my heels? Forward. And now you're going onto your heel. Okay. What did I just say? You're going on to your heel here. Yeah. I think I said the opposite. As you're going toward your toe here. Okay. And toward your heel, yeah, toward your toe, toward your heel, yeah, that feels great, toward your toe, I think I said the opposite of that, right. yeah. Good. All right, damn. <laughs> And that actually is exactly what's happening here. Just a little more going on, <laughs> but it's the same proportions, same yes. movements, You're just yeah, that's interlocking uh, and getting some variation. Um, that's a little bit harder to, uh, you know, when you're Absolutely. just doing this, yeah. you can kind of say, I, I like that thing about where where you are on your feet. Mm. That, yeah. That. <clears throat> And, and, you know, that's kind of... Uh, and this sphere. Yeah. I always, th I was doing it like this. Yeah. But with the sphere, you, you, you can feel the... You can feel the energy, energy between your hands. Yeah. And you're always working with spheres. I mean, this is a sphere. <laughs> Our body and our energetic body around us is a sphere. Oh. <laughs> uh, how, how is that? Uh, I can't picture that. So. <clears throat> Have we ever talked about the energetic bodies? That's a, a new concept to you? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. It may be a little dormant. <laughs> Could be. Um, so the, the doubt concept is that we have eight energy bodies. And the those bodies both exist expanding outward from the physical body, which is the first one, and inward. So the first the first body is the is the physical body. And obviously we have both an outer part of that and an inner part of it. And we can, we can feel all of that and feel, <laughs> some days it feels better than others. <laughs> um, but we can feel that pretty easily. We understand our physical body. The etheric body or energy body is the next one. And that's what um, often um, when we talk about somebody um, um, how they enter a room and the energy seems to change. Um, 
That's what happens. They have a strong energy body. Your energy body may be very, really very small. It may only be a matter of inches or, or a foot. Um, or <laughs> the, the um, extreme that I experienced was the week I spent um, with the Dalai Lama. And um, I still remember the feeling, the moment that he entered that it was kind of a stadium, there were about 5,000 people there. When he entered that space, the energy changed. Really? And some of it, of course, is the response of all the people. That's uh, absolutely. I'm, would not deny that, but the power of his energy you could feel. Now, I admittedly, I was in the seventh row, so I was close. Um, but I don't think there's anybody there that would not agree with that. It was, it was, an, it was just a wonderful wave came in with him. Wow. So he has a huge energy body, which is not a big surprise, actually. Um, the next one is the emotional body, which is the body of the energy of your emotions, actually, which exist both inside you and out. Uh, the fourth one is the uh, mental body, so the, the uh, energy of, of your mind and your thoughts and um, the mental activity. And these are the first ones that in Taoist meditation we attempt to clear of energetic blockages because then um, with that, you're able to live a much happier and smoother life. The next one is the um, <laughs> I'm losing the word. Um, no, it's a higher energy body. The um, the sixth one is the karmic body, so the energy of the karmic uh, effects in your life. Oh, what? Karma? Kar karma. Are you familiar karma. with karma? Oh, okay. Um, the uh, seventh one is the body of individuality, which is when if you reach the level of completely clearing energy blockages up to that is um, the point at which um, what what is often referred to as enlightenment can incur, occur because that opens to being able to be aware of the eighth energy body which is the body of the Tao. So connecting to the, the energy of the Tao itself. So this is getting into a little more esoteric yeah. um, aspect, but um, your what, <laughs> what we have to understand is that once we get beyond the mental body that those energy bodies are going out into space beyond where we are. Um, and inside you are endeavoring to open to what is referred to as emptiness, which is an unlimited space that exists inside the body. <laughs> and maybe I'm going too far with this, no, no, but... It's all right. it's <laughs> but... Um, it's within that emptiness 
that those energy bodies can expand within you. Well, I can go on and on. Um, <laughs> anyway, so the eight energy bodies, this is a major concept in, in Taoism. Okay. Taoist meditation, um, what we endeavor to do is to learn to be able to sense the energetic blockages, at, at least in the first four energy bodies. Only some people can go beyond that level. We, we can't all do that. Um, most of us can't do that. Or don't arrive at, at a place where we can. Um, but um, it's really interesting when you can really become aware of those blockages in the in the body. Um, you focus on dissolving them. So they use the concept that uh, a blockage is like um, a point your energy flow that has turned to ice and is blocking the flow of the energy. And so you endeavor to feel the energy changing from ice to water. And once it begins to change, um, depending on whether you're doing outer or inner dissolving, um, you then uh, endeavor to allow the water to become gas if it's outer dissolving and release out from the body, or it can um, resolve from uh, water to inner space, so into emptiness in other words, which can absorb all of that without um, any ill effects. That's interesting with the ice, the water, the gas. Yeah. I mean, that takes, that physically takes energy to do. Yeah. To occur. Yeah. And it's how you open up the flow that it gets reduced or blocked. And most of us, by the time we get to our age, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we have innumerable blockages. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, yeah. So, um, but it it can be um, amazingly effective. You can actually release um, some physical pain. Um, I I have one student who's been working with um, Taoist meditation for many years. Um, who used to have a lot of difficulty with migraines, who found that if she began as soon as there was any indication that a migraine was approaching, she could dissolve it and release it before it became an actual migraine. Wow. So, wow. so it, it can be very effective. It's all related to the eight gates, but it's uh, <laughs> a few steps up. <laughs> yeah. Gee, that's uh, you know, it's it, it it it's it's really funny. I just stumbled on a movie a while back, which started out with the premise that you use about 10% of your brain. Mm -hmm. If you are really, really bright or yeah. whatever, you can use up to 20%. But then there was this person that, and I don't even remember what, why, but went on. And as she went on, different things could occur, like she could uh, sense through the wall 
where people were, and mm -hmm. it, it, it just kept expanding and expanding yeah. as she was able to use more of her brain power. Now, that's a sort of a physical description, I think, of what you're saying about the... It is. Um, what I was thinking as you said that it's interesting um, because it's it's talking about the energetics of the brain yeah um, and um, we have <laughs> we have lots of stories anyway about what things that that masters could do uh, that were beyond the uh, normal level um, and you have to somehow have accessed um, those powers in order to do that yeah um, gee what do you say to that <laughs> yeah but that's uh, that's me it is uh, I mean, uh, I have to say, um, the, the uh, <laughs> funny, I'm blanking on his name now, the master that I uh, had the opportunity to work with a couple of times um, from the West Coast, Northwest. Unbelievable abilities. I think I've talked about him. Um, he started, he had a class, and we had a class of about 20, 22 people, I think. And he went through the whole class, one at a time, had us stand in front of a um, overstuffed chair. He'd, he'd had the guy who was hosting uh, bring in. And we would just touch the back of our wrists, and he would tell us, he told us to take as rooted a stance as we could. And, and you know, you do all your things to yeah. supposedly be as rooted as possible, and without any movement, all of a sudden you went, boom, back into the chair. He didn't move. He didn't move. Um, and how did he project his energy? Because he can feel your energy and he can feel your center. Okay, yeah. And he could send a pulse of energy into your center and sit you down. And a couple of us that I know of, me among them, thought, oh, okay, I'll move my center. And I pulled my center up to my chest. And the next time, <laughs> in, instead of going this way back, I went this way back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't fool. Um, I've seen him, he, he had a guy that he had never worked with before. This is not one of his, his students. Um, he had the guy um, come to him and he went like this, just turned his hand over and dropped the guy to his knees. And then just moving his hand around he prevented the guy from standing up. This was a, a, say a guy, I don't know, he's 30s or 40s, he was in very good shape. Tai Chi player, been doing it for years. Um, he could not get off the floor because the energy, the guy's energy was holding him down. 
is that what's holding us down when I get down on the floor? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> class today? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Sure. Hi there. Hi Charlotte. Oh. Oh, I'm good. Well, you take care. Yeah, so you take care. Yes, we will. All right, bye. <laughs> she's not coming tomorrow because she's, I don't know what's going on. Murphy's Law, she said. No, it was, everything was law. going. <laughs> She's a trooper. She is. And Jean's not, I mean, Judy's not coming. But you guys are welcome if you want to come. Um, it's, yeah, I... Uh, Charlotte said she had talked to Jean, and Jean didn't sound too sure. <laughs> Jean isn't feeling too well. Oh, is um, it? I'm not sure how she's feeling today. Um, yeah. I uh, I've not been sleeping well, and uh, boy, I've had trouble recently too. Yeah. Which and last night uh, I slept pretty well, <laughs> and apparently I didn't tell Jean that I had this ten o'clock, and I didn't. When I got up, it was like twenty after nine. Uh huh. Good. And so I'm not sure where she's at today, <laughs> because yeah. getting washed up and dressed, and at yeah, least yeah. I got my pills down. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> so, what part of um, the eight gates would you like to work on? <laughs> um, now, when you say the eight gates, mm -hmm. I hate to even say this, but what, which one is the eight gates? So this whole, everything that we're working on is what Master Joe referred to as the eight gates training. Okay. So it could be anything. It could be the walk. It could be the single arm, okay. double arm, or okay. form. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, what I have been doing is, you know, is yes. this, and, That's and I learned a ton, and then it, and then it goes into this. Yes. Okay. And then I do the single arm. Uh -huh. Now, one of the things I noticed with the single arm is when you put your foot out to move. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite putting it in the right place. It just mm. doesn't feel comfortable. And then it, of course, came to me that when I made this move, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to remember to stand up straight, not have my head down. <laughs> that helps. Yeah. and. Uh, to go through it, and, and I could feel that I wasn't real, uh, I, it, it didn't go as well as it should. It was not smooth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I remember having that trouble with that yeah. before. So, um, 
if, if we start here with this single one, we could do that. Yeah. So it's seven, eight, one, sit back, two, rotate through, three, turn the leg. Now, um, I might say my first thought is that maybe you're turning it a little too far. We talk about going to 45 degrees, and that would be perhaps an ideal, but um, at this age we may not be as comfortable at 45 as uh, at a little less than that. Um, because at that point, we want to go to 100% on that foot right. and be center weighted there so we can rotate in and rotate out a little yeah. to place that foot straight ahead empty. Yeah. And then we're able to go through the rest and then we turn the foot again. Did that answer that question? I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is going up. up. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that not turning the foot too much. Okay. Maybe a help. All right. Can we write right from the very beginning? Sure. Okay. So we shift into the left, spiral down, stepping out with the right, come into the center, continue onto the right and turn the left foot, and continue on to it, and step. Rotate through, turn the leg, shift, step, both arms moving forward. Just rotate right as the arm draws the S curve, and then turn, shift, rotate and step. Finding your center here so that you can make that rotation all the way through is important. Okay, now uh, when we do the um, is that, it looked like it was to the left of the body. It's it in the center. Be, it's center, right? It's got to be centered. Yeah. If you let it go to the left, you will crank up your shoulder and, and... And make it feel good? Yeah, make it feel really good. <laughs> Whereas if you do this, if you, if you release the shoulder, and let the elbow come down, well, it may not be at first 100% comfortable. It actually will not at least lock up or, or block. Okay. And when you consider that you also have the body turning at the same time, this releases, that turn to the right releases the arm. Yeah, going. no, I, that's what I mean. That, that is not in the center. Not now, because this is the... <laughs> okay. I have gone here and then and over. here. Okay. Yes, this is <laughs> left of center because it's, it's 
the fullness of the yin section on the bottom of the S curve. Okay. And then you come to the bottom, clear to the bottom. And it's back in the center. Back in the center. Okay. So this is <laughs> okay. This okay. is actually the same as this. Yep. When when you're just doing this, boom, boom, boom. Yes. It's just that here, instead of of that, we have just the turn to the right, but it's the same arm movement. Okay. The arm remains absolutely the same. It's just the body that's different. Okay, let's go through that again. You want me just to lead you? <laughs> I, I, uh, well, I just want to, yeah, just go through the whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> now, you, you were stepping out with your right foot. I'm oh, just so morning. used to stepping out spiraling down, stepping out with my left foot. That's I guess what you that's, do in the afternoon. That's in the afternoon. What time is it? <laughs> it's about 10 minutes of 11. <laughs> it's still morning. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I can do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so when you practice in the morning, <laughs> yes. You're going to spiral down into the right and a left and step, step out with the right. the right. Okay. And then you come into center and continue right. Turn. Step forward. Up. Back. Turn the leg. Forward. Rotate, rotate. Oh. Ah, got it. Yeah? Yeah, got it. Great. Yeah. You, uh, you need to, uh, I'm getting close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was really, really good. Good. Well, I've got a few minutes if you have any other questions. I think I'm okay. Okay. This, this was... Thank you. Thank you. This was marvelous. Well, I learned good. so much today. Good. Gosh, I'll love you. I don't think I'm getting there. <laughs> you know, I will, um, I will send, um,